It's quiet. You know, quiet's good. Quiet means we're not getting shot at. Rivers, DN four six eight nine zero. Welcome back, Sergeant. <clears throat> Do you need anything? Can I see your hardware? Hey, Jacob. Did you see Jennifer on your way here? Isn't she here? She hasn't come back yet, but I'm sure she's fine. About Hollywood Hills. How did it go? I've been to Hollywood Hills and found your old house. <clears throat> did you? Your husband left for Mexico. What are you talking about? I found this letter in your house. It's from Peter. It says that he's heading there to look for you. He couldn't find me when I was right under his nose. How's he gonna find me in Mexico? What a sweet fool. You should go look for him. Ah, you're right. I have to find him before he hurts himself. Baron's not gonna like that, but she never scared me. Thank you for finding him for me, Jacob. Why am I not leaving? Have you heard that Dr. Max still alive? Huh, you're back. How was Hollywood Hills? Crawling with Terminators. And what about Mac? How's he? Was he compliant? Fine, but he needs Skynet security codes if we want him to reprogram that plasma rifle. Fair enough. Talk to Alvin about that. Okay, I will. Did Mac say anything else? No, that's all he said. Okay. Talk to Alvin about those security codes, and then come back to my quarters. I'll tell them to let you in. And one more thing, talk to Ryan. That buggy's been sitting there broken for too long. See if something's going on. I've got a suspicion that he's hiding something from me.
Alvin. Huh? You know what? I'm actually jealous of Mac. He's out there alone. No one's bothering him. If I had those working conditions, I would be just as successful as him. He told me that I'll need some sort of a device to download Skynet's security codes from an HK. Do you have it? Yes. About that. Um... Do you remember that day in downtown? I do. It was very traumatic. And because of that, I may have forgotten to bring back some things. Including that device? And the quantum battery which powers it. You won't be able to use it without it. So, I guess I'm off downtown. Yes, you do that. <clears throat> hey, Jacob, what's happening? Baron wanted me to ask about that buggy. Is there a problem? Yeah, she's been nagging me to fix the electronics in this piece of shit for a while now. Do you think you can help me with it? Why are you asking me? You're the mechanic. Listen, I'm good with tools. You give me a car with a gasoline engine, I'll make it run. But this electronic shit? I don't know anything about that. Hell, most of my life, I live without electricity. Why not tell her? She won't let me cherry-pick my own responsibilities, you know that. She'll throw me right out of here if she finds out. That's why I need your help. Quartermaster will give you all the parts, tell you what to do. Just think about it. I'm here to pick up parts for that buggy. Wasn't Ryan supposed to take care of that? Baron specifically asked me to keep an eye on it. Can he really fix it himself? Sure he can. I'm just the delivery guy. That's it. Yeah. All right. Here are the parts. What's going on? Oh, I've got those parts. Great. Let's get to work. And it's done. All right, that didn't seem that hard after all. Thanks for the help. I forgot. What was I supposed to bring? You know what? You're lucky. No one will ever mistake you for a machine. What do you mean? Those look like vibes to you? Commander? Uh, Ryan said that. Well, here goes nothing. Commander. Welcome to the luxury part of the shelter. Oh, I fucking hate living underground. But hopefully we won't have to much longer. Thanks to people like us, this war will end soon. You proved that you'll do whatever it takes, no matter the cost. And so will I. Don't think your efforts go unnoticed. You know, I killed a man long before I killed my first machine. And was hurt by a man long before a machine's hurt me. Apart from plasma burns, I've got man-made scars underneath these tattoos. And I'll never forget. On the good days, they don't hurt. And I feel like this world is worth fighting for. On the bad days, they make me want to quit. Give up and run like everyone else. But we're so close. 
Skynet's almost finished. So you can understand I can't run. I need your help, Jacob. I need you to get rid of Mac. He's unpredictable. He sabotaged our mission and killed our men before. I cannot let happen again. I need you to kill him as soon as he reprograms that rifle. You look shocked. But I think I can find a way to persuade you. If you're into it, that is. I am. That's what I thought. It needs to be done, Jacob. It needs to be done. Commander. the door behind you. I'm here. Good. I marked the location of Max Code Reader and the battery pack on your map. Let me know when you find them. No, wait! You 
shouldn't be here. Skynet's right around the corner. Yeah? Show me a corner Skynet's not around. You can leave now, because I'm not opening this door for anyone or anything. I'm just here to help. You want to help me? Fine. Go to my hideout at the metro station and bring back my transmitter. Then you'll help me. All right, I can do that.
Uh, I've got it. You thought you could fool me? I know you're one of those things. You're not getting away, you motherfucker. What? Oh, 
outside. How do you know I'm getting closer? There are still plenty of resistance sensors in the area. I see everything. I'll be your eye in the sky. Great. Now all I need is the battery. Alvin, I'm halfway there. Well, that's not quite true. Once you get the code where you're working, you still have to find an HK to connect to. But don't worry. I'm sure they call them hunter-killers just for intimidation. <laughs> I've got the code reader working. Good. Now go look for an HK. During the attack, our team heavily damaged an HK. Okay, tank, that's your safest bet, but be careful, the area is...
past that laser gate with the code reader. Now proceed with caution. That's something Baron would say, right? Skynet antenna up ahead. Looks like they set up an outpost here. Should I engage? That's not your main objective, but I'll leave that up to you.
we've got a problem. That HK is still functional. I can't get near. You'll need a rocket launcher to even make a dead nice shot. Now get the cover until it returns to the scanning machine.
Got it. Moving out. I've got the codes. All right, then let's get right to it. Please insert stolen security codes now. Strike a key when ready. And it's done. Like they say, easy money. That's it? With the proper equipment, it only takes a moment. We can fight Skynet with our own weapons. I believe that goes for that infiltrator as well. The first prototype just came out a couple of days ago. Imagine what happens if they become mass-produced. We need to hurry before that happens. That infiltrator has been after us for more than just a couple of days. What do you mean? It's been following me for months. But that simply can't be. That prototype has been out for mere days. It's the same model that destroyed Pacific Division. But I'm connected to Skynet's mainframe and I can see their plans. I'm telling you that what you're saying is not possible. Unless... Oh my god. They will do it. They will finish the TDE. Finish what? TDE, Time Displacement Equipment. For all intents and purposes, it's a time machine. A time machine? Yes, a time machine. You go in, you pick a date, you press a button, and just like that you'll be watching your younger self learning to tie your shoelaces. You know, time travel. Skynet's been working on TDE for a while now. I've been monitoring its progress, but it's still not ready yet. So how could they send anyone back if it's not ready? They didn't, but they will. Don't you see? In one alternative future, they finished TDE and sent a Terminator back to our times. That has to be the one you saw. You couldn't have seen it otherwise. It didn't exist yet. That would explain why they suddenly started to learn at such a geometric rate. This is big. This is really big. So, if it's done, then... What the fuck can we do now? We can still fight for this future. Our future. You could stop Skynet before they finish building time displacement equipment and send any more Terminators back. I'm forwarding everything I've learned to Connor. He needs to know. And you go report back to Baron. Speaking of Baron...
I got that chip for you. Is it any different from the others? Is it any different? Of course it is! Its CPU is a neural net processor, a learning computer. It's been updated to incorporate infiltrating techniques. Thus, its processing power exceeds any other chip. This could be exactly what we need to win this war, Jacob. I have to warn you. Baron sent me to kill you. If she finds out that I didn't, she'll send someone who will. Thank you for telling me. If what you're saying is true, I don't have much time. As soon as I'm done packing, I'll be on my way. I've already sent all the blueprints and access codes to Connor. Grab that plasma behind you, and go see Baron. Commander. I'm here. Is the thing with Mac taken care of? It is. But I have some news for you. Go ahead. Here's the man of the hour. Sergeant, are you taking a tour with us? Get it back to me. Know your target and what's behind it. And what else? I think these ones have a five second shit. I forgot. Do you need anything? Can I see your hardware? Need anything? Can I see your hardware?
This is it, huh? No more turning back. Whatever happens, you know what? It's probably bad luck to say goodbye, right? Rivers, just when you thought shit couldn't get any more crazy, this happens. So what now? With the infiltrators coming out and news of a fucking time machine, Connor wants to finish this war fast. Are we prepared? Nowhere near. That's why an all-out attack is our only option. Alvin managed to locate Skynet's central core through the hijacked satellite. It turns out it's right under our nose. It's in the basement of the old Griffith Observatory. So we're moving out. You are. Connor wants me to stay here to coordinate the attack. And his North Division is heading to stop Skynet from sending anything through the time displacement equipment. So this is it? It does seem that way. You better get all your things sorted. Take your time. You're leaving in a couple of hours. Dismissed. No, with the new plasma rifles, we finally have the firepower to match Skynet. Jacob, you're moving out? I am. What about you? I'm part of a scavenging team now, but Commander Baron gave us an order to get back to the shelter. If you see Jennifer, can you tell her that? Okay. Uh, where is she? Last time I saw her, she was upstairs. Nice view. How did you find me? Patrick told me you might be somewhere around here. It's my thinking spot. Is he worried? No, he seems happy. How did he do on your first scavenging hunt together? Well, at first he was excited just to be outside. A little too excited. Some drones spotted him. But I did it. I managed to protect him. Nothing happened. And from that point on, he understood how dangerous a scavenger's life can be. See, you'll make a great scavenging team. Yeah, I'm starting to see it that way. And because of that, I was thinking... About leaving? <laughs> I don't have any secrets from you, do I? Yeah, about leaving. With Patrick. I think you should leave. What? Are you serious? I thought you'd be the last person to encourage me to go. What about what you said earlier? What changed? Things are different now. It's not safe here anymore, and I think you should go. Jacob, I don't know what to say. 
you know that your opinion matters to me the most. To be honest, you're the only thing keeping me here. Well, that's it then. I guess I'm going. <sighs> you're always looking out for me. Thank you for that. I know you're moving out soon, but there's something I want to say. Regardless of what happens later, I hope that we'll find each other. Thank you for always being there for me. I'm lucky to have someone like you. And I'm lucky to have you. I hoped you'd say that. You know what? I'll stay here just a little while longer. Tell Patrick not to worry. I'll be back soon. I'll do that. You ready to move out? No, not yet. I found her. She's all right. She'll be back soon. Don't worry. Thanks, Jacob. You ready to move out? I am. All right. Let's do this. Thirty years ago, the machines decided to wipe out all of humanity because they feared that we were a threat to their existence. Today, we make their fear come true. Sergeant Rivers, you were requested by John Connor to lead the Alpha Team. You will be responsible for carrying out the attack on the location of Skynet's central core. We will create a diversion to lure out any HK aerials patrolling the area. That should give you some time to breathe. Taking out Skynet's ground forces, that's on you. Remember, the goal is to destroy Skynet's central core. At whatever cost. Good luck out there. Dismissed.
Alpha. This is Team Bravo. Skynet's taking the bait. Good luck out there. All right, everyone. This is us. Let's move out. We're two minutes out from the observatory. As soon as we get past that barrier, expect Skynet to show up. Stay focused. Silverfish, 12 o'clock. Neutralized. Let's keep moving. Keep pushing forward! Metals! Shooting! More of them! More incoming! Another infiltrator? No, he's with us. Took you a while. How did you know we were coming? I thought you'd know by now. I know more than you think. Better prepare yourself. They're coming from the west gate!
was it supposed to be you? Find a rocket launcher! Something's not right! This is it. Follow me. Central core is downstairs. How do you know? I've been here before. I've seen it. Watch out! Supposed to be right here. They knew we were coming. They moved it. It's a trap. A fucking trap. We have to move. Those missiles are headed this way. Wait! If we triggered the attack, it means that this place is still connected to Skynet's mainframe. If we trace where the signal's coming from, we'll know the Central Core's actual location. How could they know we were coming? Skynet was about to lose the war. They sent an infiltrator back in time. We must have warned them about this attack. How do you know all this? Because I went back after that infiltrator. Yes! 
I've got the coordinates. Let's go! All of this will make sense to you soon, but right now we need to go! Commander, Central Corps, it's not here. It was an ambush. Commander! You can't die here. Get up! Baron, I've got the coordinates. Can you hear me? Where the hell are you? Commander! Rivers, you're alive! What happened here? An infiltrator got in. Brought lots of friends with him. We didn't stand a chance. Since they didn't go offline, I assume we did not destroy Skynet Central Core either? No. No, we didn't. It was an ambush. They moved it before we got there. So this is it? We lost? We lost this goddamn war? Not yet. What do you mean? I got the Central Corps' real coordinates. You have? I've got to learn not to doubt you anymore, Rivers. We need to call Connor. He may still be able to stop Skynet. Forget it. I couldn't get him on the radio for hours. You need to find him. You need to give him those coordinates. First, let's get you out of here. No. You don't have time for this. You have to leave me here. I can't. You're not going to disobey my final order, are you? Before you leave, I've got a confession to make. There's a reason I wasn't so keen on you from the beginning. Remember that list of people Skynet marked for termination? I lied. I told you that you were number three. The truth is you're number two. Just behind Connor. You took my spot, and for the life of me, I couldn't understand why. But now I know. They're coming. You need to leave, now. Use a vent in the command room to sneak past them, and then find Connor, and give him those coordinates. Don't worry about me. If they come here, I'll just reason with them. <clears throat> 
I still have a couple magazines full of arguments. Now go! Good luck, Jacob. The stranger died in that ambush trying to protect me. He came from the future to save my life and I don't even know his identity. But thanks to his sacrifice, I managed to escape with the Central Core's true location. When I got back to the shelter, I realized that getting that information cost the life of many others as well. I headed out to find John Connor and his North Division to take part in the last all-out attack. Anyone receiving me? 
This is Sergeant Jacob Rivers, DN 46890. Anyone out there? If anyone's hearing this, please respond. Is anyone else out there? Look, we got one. He's wearing a resistance uniform. Who did you kill to get that, you filthy machine? No, no! Wait, he's human! Sorry about that, Sergeant. The infiltrators took some of our key positions, so we're extra cautious. If we'd known that you were joining us in the North Division, that would have never happened. You know who I am. We all do, Sergeant Rivers. John Connor told us about you. He said you'd come and bring those coordinates. How did he know I'd have them? That you'll have to ask him yourself. He's waiting for you upstairs. Sergeant. Commander. Sergeant Rivers. I've been expecting you. I took the liberty of collecting the Central Corps coordinates you brought us. I hope you don't mind. Not at all. Are we preparing to attack the Corps? I've sent a unit to do that. We're getting ready to strike the time displacement equipment. Very soon Skynet will realize that they're losing this war. So they'll try to send infiltrators back in time to prevent that from happening. Do we stand a chance? Thanks to the security codes that Mac provided, we've been able to seize control of an HK tank for the first time. It should give us the advantage against Skynet's defense grid. We'll smash it once and for all. I understand that all this might be confusing to you, so if you have any questions, now's the time to ask them. How did you know that the Central Core wasn't at the Observatory? Understanding the changing nature of time travel made me anticipate the most unexpected events. So when I learned from a mutual friend of ours that a Terminator was sent back to our time, I suspected the future I was told would change. What do you mean? When that infiltrator connected to Skynet, it warned them about the attack on the Observatory. They had to move the Central Core, otherwise they would lose again. Unfortunately, the intel we received came at a cost. But if there was any other way, I would have taken it gladly. Who is the stranger? In one alternative future, we reached the time displacement equipment and sent our soldiers back in time. Like always, the mission was to assure the safety of the people Skynet marked for termination. One of whom was you. Knowing the importance of your mission, many volunteered to go back. So I took it upon myself to choose a protector from among them. And the one I chose... was you. You are the one you call Stranger. 
why am I targeted for termination? You're the one who discovered the true location of the Central Core. You're the messenger of the intel that could lead to Skynet's downfall. I'm sure you'll figure out the rest when the time comes. But right now, I want you to get ready. Tonight, soldier, we stop Skynet. Take whatever you need, Sergeant. Sergeant Rivers, it's time. I want you to take a team of my soldiers and fight your way to Skynet's defense grid. We have to destroy those turrets to get to the TDE, but don't worry. We'll provide the support. It's in your hands now, Rivers. Follow me. Commander! Commander.
flank. Drones! There's more of them! Commander, the first sector is secured. All right, Rivers. Continue the offensive. We're preparing to send in the tank. Watch out! Zero in on that T-47! Another sector cleared. That's good to hear, Sergeant. The HK tank just went online. You've got to keep going. Ariel! Down it! Perfect timing! T-47 ahead! Two of them! Sergeant, I got a visual on the defense grid turrets.
Defense grid commander. Good. That HK will accompany you. Proceed forward. Remember. Check your fire! That tank is ours!
Rangers! They're heading this way! Commander, what's going on? The 124 destroyed the Central Core and stopped Skynet. So is the war over? For some of us, yes. But just before we destroyed the Core, Skynet managed to send three Terminators back in time. The only thing in our power now is to send the Protectors to meet them. Protectors? The ones that will assure the safety of the people marked for termination. The first Protector has to be Sergeant Kyle Reese. He'll go after the T-800 that's targeting my mother as we speak. By killing her, Skynet will try to erase me from ever existing. The second one will seek to destroy the T-1000. T-1000? A Terminator made of mimetic polyalloy, sent back to kill me as a child. A single prototype, created by Skynet. It's too powerful for a single human being. That's why we'll have to send a Terminator of our own. Do you have that CPU that Mac would program? I do. You want to send a Terminator to protect your younger self? Won't you be afraid? I will be. Then, there's the matter of the infiltrator that was sent after you. The war can end for you right now, but the question is, are you willing to sacrifice your future to protect your past? By being here, you've already proven that this is not beyond your capabilities. I'll leave the decision up to you. Will I be able to fix my past mistakes? I always believe that the future's not set. There's no fate but what we make for ourselves. You do have the power to change it, and protect the ones you care about. So, what will it be then? I... don't want to go. I cannot judge you. You've seen yourself die once, and that's probably once too many. There are volunteers that will gladly take your place. John Connor prepared the time displacement equipment to send protectors back in time. He knew that the final battle would not be fought here, but in the past. A resistance soldier named Kyle Reese was the first man to go back, to 1984. His objective was to protect Sarah Connor, John's mother. The second one was not a man, but a Terminator. Using the chip Dr. Mac reprogrammed, we took control of a single infiltrator unit. Cyberdyne Systems Model 101. It was sent back to 1995 to intercept the sole T-1000 prototype and protect a young John Connor. I've decided not to go back in time. Plenty of volunteers wanted to take my place. John Connor chose a man from amongst them. I only hope that he does a better job than I did.
After 30 years, this war against the machines is finally over. But not all of us live to see the end of it. We never found Baron's body in the shelter. She never stopped fighting. And if she's still alive, I doubt she ever will. She was the leader we needed in wartime. But I'm not sure if she'll find a place during this time of peace. I lied to Aaron about her husband to make her leave the shelter. I saved her life, but at what cost? Was it my place to intervene and give her false hope? Ryan stayed in the shelter and died. He was a good man, with a good heart. Jennifer and Patrick left before the attack. I'm glad I convinced her to leave. I hope that our paths will cross sometime soon. Baron asked me to kill Mac, but I couldn't do it. He left soon after my warning, only to be captured by Skynet. We found him alive in one of Skynet's prisons. As for me, it was time to start over.